Hey guys, it's Sensuki. Um, I recently did a video demonstrating a mod for the Pills of Eternity backer beta made by a guy named Bester. Um, and I'll just quickly show what it does. So it's called uh, the IE mod. Um, to enable the things in the IE mod, you open up the options menu. There's a new tab here, and you can tick um, the various boxes to toggle on optional features. Um, now, the last version of the mod that I demonstrated was version 3. There's also one feature that I forgot to demonstrate, and that was the fact that he has added in uh, tap removal of tooltip delay for abilities, which is really handy. So if you mouse over uh, this ability here, you see that after a delay, Holy Radiance uh, tooltip appears. Um, whereas if you press tab over um, a portrait, the tooltip comes up, uh, but it, in the standard uh, Back it doesn't do it for abilities. He actually added that, added that in. So you press tab over the ability and it brings up the tooltip. Uh, the new feature that I have created this video for is actually uh, completely draggable UI elements. So if you go into the console and uh, press enter and then press uh, type in BB, it brings up this um, series of buttons on the screen which Best has created. Um, and what you do is you can press these buttons in the middle to drag around the various elements on the screen. You can also um, toggle the log buttons on the side, as you can see there. So it's, it flips them over. <clears throat> um, now, first of all, I, this uh, a customizable HUD was something that uh, many backers have sort of been discussing on the forums because not everyone is happy with the default layout of the uh, user interface that Obsidian have created. One particular thing that I find very annoying is that the combat log is located on the right side of the screen, which um, is on the absolute worst side of the screen for reading the text in the log because um, most human cultures read their text from right to left, sorry, from left to right. Um, so it's very uncomfortable to shift your eyes from the middle of the screen down to the log, read all the way to the right, and then shift them back up into the middle of the screen. Um, and in Icewind Dale 2, the log was uh, on the left side of the screen, I believe, for that reason. Uh, whoever, did, whoever designed the UI obviously had some um, UI sensibilities there. So um, anyway, I'm going to start by dragging the party bar. To do that, you click on the button and then hold the mouse and drag the porches around. And you can put them anywhere you like on the screen. Um, you can put them at the top if you want. Put them off, off camera. So you can have them up there. Um, I'm going to move them over to the right side of the screen. I'm going to uh, drag the log across and put it on the left. I think um, the position was somewhere around there. One thing that we, uh, be will probably be added into this is to allow you to easily snap the UI elements around. I think it would be much handier um, flipping the orientation of the user interface around. So I'm going to drag the party bar, try and get it in the right spot. Um, the portraits appear to be smaller than the the actual thing there, so I think it would be probably somewhere about there. It's hard to sort of get an exact um, on how far apart it should be. I'm going to go with there. Now I'm going to drag the uh, ability bar across as well. I I think it's about there. You could also, if, if you wanted to, you could drag the ability bar into the mil middle of the screen or something like that. I'm going to try and stick it in the same spot, which I think was about there. Um, and then uh, you press, to save your changes, you press save your and close. If you want to reset them, you press cancel and close. And if you want to reset them to default, um, you press default UI and close. So I'm going, to set, I'm going to save them first. Okay, so now I've got a right aligned huh. UI. You can also see that the uh, the changes are pasted into the combat log. Sure. Now I can play with a, a right aligned uh, I'm here. user interface, which is this would have been actually really nice if Obsidian had um, implemented something like this. So I can now see that my log is a bit high. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So for me, for me, this would be much easier to play with because um, now when I'm in combat, I can easily read the combat log lines from left to right. So if huh? I do an attack here. So that, that, that is now, when I see that, I can just instantly look down to the left. That'll be on my natural left reading side. I can quickly read that across and then shift my view back into the middle of the screen. So that's actually really handy. 
um, that position. But obviously, not everyone uh, has the same UI preferences as me. Um, so you you might want the uh, portraits on the top, the combat log in the middle, and maybe uh, the menu. I don't know to the side somewhere. So obviously, you can do that. One thing that is changed though is it removes the ability to um, hide the UI because. Uh, yeah, if you're going to be moving the UI around, those buttons would just be sitting there on the edge of the screen. So um, there, there is one technical downside, which isn't really a downside, because if you're going to use this mod, you're probably just going to use all the UI elements anyway. Um, and that is that you can't uh, now you can't hide the middle menu bar or the combat log. So I'm going to do a new UI uh, position, type in BB again. I'm going to put the porches up in the top left. So I'll drag the party bar. I think my frame rate counter will be uh, over the top of that, but that's okay. Um, now I'm going to drag the menu, put it over here. I'm going to drag the log and try and put it in the middle, probably about there. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the ability bar. Maybe put it down in the bottom left. Or oh, actually, maybe here. Okay, so I'm going to save the UI and close, and now you can play huh? with this orientation. You've got your portraits yeah. up the top there, log in the middle, actually looks really good. Um, and your menu over in the far right. Huh? Now obviously there's some uh, inconsistencies with um, well, obviously mouse distance and stuff. For many people that won't be an issue, yeah. so if you want to play like that, you can absolutely do that. And I actually really like the log in the center of the screen, now that I've actually I uh, moved it to the middle, that just feels so much more natural because that's what I'm used to with the Infinity Engine games. I can easily just move my vision down to the middle and um, and I can easily read the text. It's much easier than having to actually look to the left and way easier than looking to the right. Sure. So that's actually really good. Right. Um, so yeah, this, this mod is available for download. I will be putting the link to the download for the mod in, the, in my posts on the RPG Codex and the Obsidian forums. Uh, and probably if I post it anywhere else, I'll post the link as well so you guys can download it and try it out. Alright, thanks for watching guys and um, make sure to chuck a thanks to Besta on um, either the RPG Codex forums or the Obsidian forums because this is a really awesome feature that really should have been in the game anyway. Thanks for watching guys and look forward to the next video.